some point of building a computer, you may just want to use the onboard graphics on the motherboard, which this particular board has got. As you can see over here, we've got a VGA port. But over time, you may find that you want to play games at a higher resolution or better quality, so you're going to want to install a graphics card, a dedicated graphics card. There's two main manufacturers out at the moment, which are ATI and NVIDIA, and they've both got their full range of graphics cards um, competing with each other. Generally, it's a matter of looking at your motherboard and finding the slot for it to go in. So on this motherboard, we can see that we have two PCI Express 16 times slots over here. On older motherboards, you'll probably have something like an AGP slot or PCI slot. It will be a matter of checking your motherboard manual to confirm this. So once you've got your graphics card ready, it's just a matter of finding the slot that it goes in, offering the card to the slot, and pushing down with equal force. You will find that some graphics cards need more power than just what the slot actually gives it. This is the Radeon HD4850 and it does need an extra power source. So on the right hand side we can see that it's got this plug here. This is for a 6 pin PCI Express adapter. Once you've got your graphics card slotted in and if need be you've got the extra power plugged in as well, it's just a matter of fitting your monitor. So on this card we can see that it's got the most common free connections that we'd see on a graphics card which are a VGA port, HDMI port and DVI. Some graphics cards will have a display port as well.